Hi, I'm Scott with Gen 5 Concepts, and today we are at our sponsor, L&D Automotive, Waco, Texas. We're working on the ZL1 chiller system, and we're going to be making some changes. Uh, we're going to be installing this tank, which I have already insulated and sealed, as you can see. And we're going to reroute the hoses in the car to go from the tank, which is going to sit right here, straight to the lid out of the lid of the chiller, back of the tank. Uh, cutting down on a lot of heat absorption I was getting from the engine bay of the trunk. Uh, I was saying about a 20 to 25 degree difference in temp from what was in the tank versus what IAT2 was, whereas a lot of the people with trunk tanks see about five to seven degree difference. We're gonna see if we can get that goal. What is it? Cold as shit? Cold as shit. <laughs> Time for some final thoughts. Uh, we've made the final changes to the inner chiller system. I've tested it pretty thoroughly and I'm very happy with the results. Uh, let's take a look at what we did and why we did it. So here's our final system. We have the chiller in the bumper. We've got a two gallon tank from Black Market Racing, which I have insulated and sealed, as you can see. The water is pumped from the tank to the factory ZL1 pump, up to the blower lid, out of the lid, the inner chiller, back up to the tank. And I actually have it hooked up backward intentionally because this tank has a port here and a port here. Of course, you, know, you get sloshed during inertia, and I do mostly straight line racing, but I put the output right there to the pump so that it would never be starved for water. I didn't want any air in the system, and I put the input over here. I did that for a couple reasons. Uh, from the manufacturer, it's designed to work the other way because there's a filter over here that keeps chunks of ice from getting to your system. I'm not using ice. I'm using 50-50, so that's not a concern. I just don't want to get any air in the system. As far as who would I recommend this system to, to those of you that have a street car that... You know, you drive around town, run some errands in, get on and have a little fun, go on cruises, car meets, shows, that kind of thing. Highly recommend it. It's the best cooling system you are going to get. You are going to have boost season all year long, no matter how hot it gets outside, which is great. You don't have to worry about your heat exchanger. Let me sweat it. Now, for those of you that autocross, I don't think I'm going to recommend it for autocrossing. The reserve is just too small. I would stick with a high capacity coolant tank in the trunk, add some ice, run that way. It's better for the long run. Those of you that do short racing, straight line racing, or just 
you know, cruising down the road, it's the best way to cool your car. I, there is no better way. One of the issues we had that caused us to start doing this was I used to have a five gallon tank in the trunk with a Stewart EMP pump. The temps I was seeing in the tank versus the actual intake were about 20 to 25 degrees different. So you could get nice, you know, 30 degree water in the tank but you would only see 50 degree water, 55 degree air in the blower. You're collecting some heat coming this distance. I actually did away with the EMP and used the stock ZL1 pump and I'm noticing my intake temps rise at the same rate as they did with the EMP. I, I don't see a reason to use an expensive higher flowing pump if your intake temps are gonna be the same or warmer in my case I, I didn't really test it with the stock ZL1 pump in the trunk but you know, we changed the whole system you can also see we've insulated the lines the AC lines are insulated just your standard foam insulation that wraps around they're insulated down around the radiators where I'll keep heat off uh, these aren't insulated yet but they probably will soon just for the sake of doing it I'm seeing about a 10 degree difference between what's in the tank to what's in the blower which is compared to what it was it's fantastic if you do quarter mile it works perfect you don't have to pack ice around you don't have to bring any extra tools or coolers or anything you simply make your pool pull into a parking spot or get in line let the AC do its job cool the water back down and you can make another run so if you do end up going with a chiller system of any brand my best advice is a one to three gallon tank. Make sure you use insulated line, braided line, otherwise it'll condensate, start dripping water. Use the factory ZL1 pump or a Varimax. High flow pump is not needed for this application. Make sure you insulate all of your AC lines. Keep your coolant lines as short as possible. You wanna save all the cold water you're making and keeping it cold and not transport it long distances before it gets to the supercharger. If you can accomplish that, you will love your chiller system. I definitely want to give a big thank you to l and Automotive in Waco, Texas for helping us with this. Uh, the shop owner, Bill Lindsay, is a genius at HVAC in theory and application. Otherwise, I doubt I would have been able to pull this off. Not a lot of shops understand chillers in general, and how good they are with HVAC is probably limited to whatever uh, the books tell them to do, which only covers the factory system. Well, that's it for me, guys. I'm heading out. Scott with Gen 5 Concepts. If you have any questions, let me know. See you later.